Hey YouTube off-roading enthusiasts, this is Robert with Coastal GX and today I am heading over to Truck Toys to meet up with my friends uh, Justin and the gang out there. Uh, we are going to install these awesome, awesome sliders. We've got some rock sliders from SSO, uh, that's Southern Style Off-Road. Uh, I got them through uh, Tree Oak Off-Road. Uh, thank you, shout out to Kyle up there. We've been doing some modifications to Sandy and what we've been trying to do is trying to get her a little more off-road ready uh, because we have some pretty exciting trips uh, in the books. So we're gonna be hitting pins soon and then after that we're gonna go to Big Bend and uh, we're gonna be staying there for several uh, nights and doing a lot of exploring. I am so looking forward to it. I hope you enjoy the video and you maybe learn something from it or at least get entertained for a little bit. Okay guys, these things are kind of heavy, but I've been trying to get better. I've been trying to get healthier. So let me tell you all about what I'm doing to be able to get stronger, healthier as a guy and uh, more energetic, okay? Check this out, look at what I'm doing. Today I'm heading back to the men clinic in Mission. It's my second time around, second visit. We're gonna have some uh, blood work drawn uh, from me and I'm also gonna meet up with a nutritionist. Someone who wants to prevent a uh, major disease, you know, or a major condition from occurring, I'm at that precipice, I'm right at that edge. And if I'm able to get some very valuable help from professionals uh, at the men clinic, I I'm gonna take it. Moises, the nutritionist, provided me with everything I needed to know about the keto lifestyle and helped me with a custom diet just for me. He also took my measurements in order to keep track of my progress. Yes, that included my weight. Weight uh -huh. is 296.6 pounds. If you're tired of being tired, call the men clinic or book your appointment online right now. Tell them Robert with Coastal GX sent you. And remember, they also have telemedicine options for your convenience. So the guys already started you're removing some of the components from those uh, steps. And you're going to have to leave part of it there because it is attached to the rocker panel there. So there's no other way of doing it. So thank goodness there's, a, there's already a video out there and I'm gonna leave the link in the description that will tell you how to remove, properly remove those side steps and how to trim them correctly. So it's four inches in the front part and it's two and a half inches in the rear part. And the guys are already starting to work on it. And uh, so let's see, let's see how they're doing. Hey, do you guys work at a shop or do you sometimes do a little part-time wrenching? I'm asking because if you're exposed to some really loud noises, you might be experiencing some hearing loss already, man. So I'm gonna tell you about my friends at South Texas Hearing Center. These folks, they have high quality hearing aids, the best value around. So check them out. They have a great promotion going on right here. Take care of your hearing. Guys, we'll get right back to the video, but first let me tell you about my friends at the South Texas Hearing Center in Edinburgh. Right now, they're honoring our local heroes by offering a 50% discount off the retail price of their premium hearing aids for law enforcement, first responders, medical professionals, and their families. That's right, all of the family members. Give them a call at 956-533-0594 to set up your free hearing evaluation. South Texas Hearing Center, here live. 
GX460s have KDSS, that's short for Kinetic Dynamic Suspension System. The system and hoses are located on the driver's side and need to be moved out of the way when installing the sliders. The crew took great care not to damage the lines and torque the bolts to spec. So one of the things I really admire about truck toys, aside from their can-do attitude, is their innovation. I got Angel back here. Angel, you know, he came up with a little idea. I told him, I'm like, Angel, I would like to salvage my lights. I want to keep my step lights. They're important to me and to my family. And as you guys have seen, sometimes we park in areas, we've seen rattlesnakes right there, right next to our vehicle. So it is important to have uh, some sort of illumination there, uh, especially if it already comes with a vehicle, you want to retain that. So Angel is going to try something, man. Uh, he's going to try to add the little light right up here. Right Check where your it step out. Is at. Right where your step. Right where the step is at, he says. And uh, hopefully that's going to make it look pretty damn sharp. Not just look sharp, but you know, help with uh, when you are approaching a vehicle or you are walking away or about to step out of it. Well, Angel was right on the money. Check out these night nice shots of the lights and the sliders. It's this type of attention to detail that sets this shop apart. They look great, man. I wanna show you something. This is how serious it is when you are going through that salt water. You know, it's not a rest in peace type of situation, but yeah, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna get a bunch of surface rust. So look at this. These are little, I mean, they're not key components, but what I am concerned about, and I was talking to Angel a little while ago, it's gonna be these lines right here, the connectors, these little clamps. The frame is fine. There's nothing wrong with any rust there, but you look at the muffler, there's surface rust there, and look at these bolts right here, okay? This was not, it wasn't like this when I brought this, uh, when I bought Sandy, she was, she was immaculate. And just uh, those trips to the beach, and even though you've seen the videos where, you've seen the videos, guys, where I really do, I, I, I jack it up, I, 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 you know, rinse it, I let that hose go through it, and it's still not good enough. Salt water is gonna find a way, and it's gonna start corroding your metal parts there. So, I don't know, leave a comment below and let me know what is your solution for that. I mean, does undercoating really work? Can I still salvage Sandy? Can I still salvage all that? Um, I'd like to know, you know, if you got a suggestion, let me know down below. Meanwhile, I'm gonna do my own research and I'm gonna start looking into that see what I can already replace. And once I replace it, maybe try to coat it. Um, but I mean, like I said, I really do try to take care of her, you know, really get up under there, but sometimes, you know, there's nothing you can do. So this is where the spare used to be. And I had to remove it. So one thing to keep in mind, as you recall last time when I got the, the methods and the KO2s for the truck, I was all excited, hey, you know, big tires, this and this and that. However, this is a full-time four-wheel drive vehicle. Not all-wheel drive, full-time four-wheel drive, okay? So what does that mean? That means that you have to have your spare, your spare has to be the same diameter as your other four tires. So if I was to have a flat tire out there and I was gonna try to put the old uh, highway OEM tires and wheels, I'm gonna have an issue with that, okay? I'm gonna have problems. It could cause some major, major problems, mechanical problems for Sandy. So what I had to do is I had to go to discount and I had to buy a, 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 another, another spare, full size spare, you know? And now I'm gonna have to carry that one, but because I don't have, there's no way it's gonna fit under there. So I'm gonna have to place it, when I go on trips, I'm gonna have to place it on top, on the roof rack, for now. Maybe one day I'll be able to afford or have someone fabricate that swing out 
uh, rear tire carrier for it because they're almost 34 inch tires now. So it's gonna be pretty massive and there's no way, no way it's gonna be able to fit beneath Sandy right here. Well, the best thing about the rock slide, it's gonna protect the quarter panels, protect the doors, protect everything, especially if you're actually using the truck. You know what I mean? If you run like a factory style Nerf bar or something like that, they're usually super thin, super flimsy stuff. These things, you can beat on them, hit them, do whatever you want. 95% of the time, you hit big rocks and stuff like that, playing around, you're just gonna glide, you'll slide over it till the tire catches and it helps you out, you know what I mean? Can you jack up the vehicle with this? No, I, I wouldn't recommend that just because it's not really a safe point to lift the truck from. You know what I mean? There's a lot of spots where the jack could slide off of and hurt somebody or something like that. Somebody wants to uh, come and install these things here at your shop. How can they find you guys? Uh, you just give us a call, man. The shop phone, 956-664-2621. And uh, we'll set you up and get you taken care of for sure. sliders on for two weeks now and I barely realized I hadn't done a closer for this video. I want to thank Justin, Angel, and Valentino over at Truck Toys for doing a phenomenal job as always. Uh, consider subscribing and liking this video and check out my merch stores. Uh, your support drives me to continue creating content. I will be working on many more episodes in the coming weeks. Also, go check out my sponsors and tell them you heard about them here at Coastal GX. We are approaching 3,000 subscribers and I will be announcing a giveaway. If you haven't registered, go ahead and watch my South Padre Island Offshore Red Snapper and Cobia on a Drone video for instructions. I will leave a link right up here and God bless and don't forget to get up, get out, do something.